Welcome back to Crossout, and here's another episode of weapon testing. This time I'm testing as specters. What's better for them? Coolers or radiators or mix? Again, some people ask for it, so I'm gonna do it. I'll uh, get the same distance as before, somewhere in here. And let's just start shooting right in the middle in there, so... Let's do this, that's the control without anything. It's gone. I honestly think three coolers are gonna win this one, but we shall see. So, let's get cracking. So here we have three radiators. I think this is gonna take the same amount of time as uh, without any uh, radiators at all, so let's uh, give it a go. Maybe it was a little bit faster, but um, I don't know the time yet. I will put it on screen for you, but um, let's move on to the coolers. Right, three coolers. I think this is the winning design, so let's do this. Uh, Um, to tell you the truth, uh, the common sense tells you that uh, radiators are only good on weapons that do more damage over time and they like build up as you can see. So if it can cool down before it goes back to like zero, then it's all good. See, before it like does that, then it's all good. So I think one radiator might do the same as three coolers. I mean one radiator and two coolers, which I'm gonna test next, so let's do this. Right, I think this takes about the same time as uh, free coolers, but uh, let's see if my theory is correct.
Right, well, time to do two radiators and one cooler, which is definitely gonna be um, one of the worst times, but um, we'll see. The reason why I think it's gonna be worse is because um, the, um, the cooldown time is not gonna be enough to, you know, uh, remain on the 10 damage things, so... But, uh, let's see, I think it's gonna be bad time. That felt quite fast, but um, let's see what the numbers say. Just as I expected, the winning design, free coolers. The reason for that is because uh, it cranks up to 10 times, and like I said, if it doesn't go back to like anything else, then that's good enough. And that's why also the two coolers and one radiator is almost as good. It actually is, I think the DPS damage per second is about save, it's just, you know, the intervals when the Leviathan blows up exactly. The interval might be just, you know, like a uh, few damage before. Let's say it has like, I don't know, 20 health left and then you have that cooldown thing and then you have to wait like an extra second to, you know, blow it up. So that's why, but I would say that um, two coolers and one radiator is about equal to uh, three coolers. So if you want to go with one radiator, it might give you, you know, advantage taking off the weapons, you know, if you um, go like this, then it doesn't have the, you know, cooldown thing, but uh, I mean free coolers, it cools down almost instantly, so I don't really see, you know, why you would do that, but those are the test results for you, hope it helps, and I will see you next time!